Watch this. Uh. Let's ride. Kind of start this video out late. <clears throat> I didn't feel like recording, but I was like, you know what? I need to record because I want to show people my my uh my progression. Yeah. I got this. I got another uh. I got another little uh. You know, when you try to get these little tools, you end up finding and collecting a whole bunch of crap. But uh, I just picked up this uh, other little, like, pot or whatnot to sit. And it's, like, real flexible. Golly. What's up, y'all? What's up? All that crap. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's have a phone. Not a phone. God dang. Let's have a, let's have a talk. I'm just so excited. Let's have a talk. Just got off of work. Had a good day. So like I said, I'm going to give you guys my progression stories, working 9 to 5, how I feel going to the gym or whatnot, just motivation. I don't have to make me look like a freaking, uh, one of those freaking, one of those guys that be in the bushes. Look. Oh, uh, no, but, um, uh, let's see what we're doing. Yeah, let's rock the red. Let's rock the red, because the sun going to be beaming in my eyes, if y'all don't mind. No, but uh had a good day today. Feel good going into this workout. This is gonna be my leg and uh tricep workout. And I'm pretty sure you're like, why the heck yeah. is this guy working out triceps and legs at the same time? Well, basically because I wanna throw my body off. I don't wanna just do legs and legs and legs. I wanna actually feel like crap. Um reason being is because my workouts workouts as of now is uh low reps i mean low weights low weights low weights maximum repetition as much as i can and i'm trying to actually get my formation down again i know you guys hear me saying you know formation you know i'm going back to the basics with my body you have to go to the basics in order to make sure when you elevate your strength that you you have the foundation down to properly instill um with with heavier weight to compensate because for example um i don't know if you are hurt anybody that does a bench press and then they feel their shoulders and no way possible you should be doing a bench press and feeling your shoulders so i say that because in no way possible if i go up heavy i should actually feel another body part unless i'm using my core or i'm tightening my core um and of course, I also want to work on my core too as well. Um, so, I mean, just just think about it. You know, it just it just brings back the concept. And like I said, I'm I'm, I'm pulling my body. I'm, I'm putting. I'm ah can't think right now. Ah! <laughs> no, but I just want to show people that you don't have to always go heavy. Of course, I'm gonna have me some heavy days within my workouts. But overall, as of right now, doing my workout uh, plan that I designed of right now, that I designed as of now, the core concept is keeping the low, keeping the weights low. But I am going to gradually build myself up, of course, back to the heavy. And I still have my strength. I mean, come on now, come on now. Mm. Ah, oh yeah, that hurt. Ah, should have stretched before I did that. Brings me another concept. Stretch, 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 stretch. Since I've been working out, I probably had maybe one or two injuries. One was because of improper uh, form. Uh, two is uh, because I either went up heavy and didn't actually warm up to what I, what type of movement I was doing, more to say. So I'm learning now that I have to take everything slow and steady in order to get the maximum target workout or target target uh, body part. Yeah. With that being said, let's go to the gym. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I don't have another battery. I guess what I'm gonna call this one is the. Uh, Stretching for legs video. You can use it at home. As you can see, I didn't use anything inside the gym. Just basically 
basically my bag of tricks is what I'm calling my bag of tricks. So sorry about that. Stay tuned. Don't you just hate when you take pre-workout on your way to the gym and you run into traffic? It's, it's just, oh my God. The biggest letdown that you can ever have when your mindset is just like going to the gym and just getting it in. If you don't know me by now, you already know what it's time for. For every workout. No, I'm not about to do Zumba. I'm about to do some cardio. Five minutes. Wait, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. All right, let's set up. don't do anything especially especially for uh, people just starting if you don't do anything be consistent if you're consistent you get results I can tell you now I didn't want to actually do five minutes cardio but lo and behold I'm trying to shed some fat get ripped have a better physique so tip number one Come on, I got something in my mouth. Hold on, I got something in my mouth. Don't touch your hands. Sanitize your hands. Sanitize your hands. All right. So, just like you, living the story of getting off of work and going to the gym for the people that do go to the gym. Now, you run into the instance to where, as you can see, I'm going to do a 360. That the gym is packed. So when you run into one of those instances, you're gonna to have to go into your bag of tricks. Your bag of tricks. Still look junky, I know. I have a lot of bag of tricks. But you're gonna to have to manipulate uh, whatever workout or whatever uh, body part you actually uh No, 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 it's all you, go ahead. So, oh, check that out. Nobody said, let's get on.
Passageiros! Uh!